Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Pets of the Week. I'm Brett Wheeler, this is Michael Whiteside, and down here we have JP Zavala. JP, welcome back and we're glad to have you here on Pets of the Week. Awesome, thanks Brett. It's always great to be back here at the Animal Care Campus and uh, with wonderful pets. And speaking of wonderful pets, who do we have here, Michael? Uh, this right here is Snickers. She's about two years old and she was a public drop off. So someone found her, brought her into the shelter. She is heartworm positive. So she's getting heartworm treatment right now. So she's gonna be ready to go home in about three weeks or so. But as you can see, she's a pretty calm little girl and um, just very, very loving. She's a little nervous right now, but she's, she's a sweet, sweet girl. All right, Michael, you shared this girl's name with me before. So who do we have here? This very active girl is Cher, and it's not like the multiple farewell tour Cher that you know of. It's like, I'll share all my love with you. And she will. She's definitely a puppy. She's only about seven months old. She was a public drop off. So someone found her and brought her here to the shelter. She is, again, all puppy, very active, very loving though. She's really smart. She does know a couple of commands. Um, she doesn't always want to listen to those commands, but she does know them. A family that has time to spend with her and really give her the attention um, and the interaction that she's going to need to help resolve some of that puppy stuff that she has going on. But that's typical with any puppy. I think she has a new best friend over there with, uh, with JP. Yeah, she's uh, sharing some kisses with me right now. <laughs> All right, Michael, and this uh, beautiful girl is... Uh, this is vaca, um, which my understanding is, is Spanish for cow. I don't think they meant it as an insult because I think it was just the coloring probably. She does sort of resemble a cow with brown spots. She's only about a year old. She was an owner surrender. They had had her since she was a puppy and the, they were surrendering her because they said that she kept escaping from their yard. So I don't know what size fence they had or anything like that. And in most instances, not all, but in most instances, if an, if an animal's escaping from their yard, it's just that they're not getting enough attention or interaction um, and so they're trying to find some interaction um, but so I we don't know for sure that she can you know really climb fences or that she's you know good at escaping uh, but that's something to keep in mind but as you can tell she is a really sweet girl she does have a pretty good energy level but she also kind of likes to just sit and hang out with you um, as well I've made the owners that surrendered her had written that she really is a lap dog so I would imagine after she gets some exercise some play time, she probably just wants to cuddle up next to you. Big dogs like Vaca, you know, they have to get around and spend some energy and all that. And you guys have an event coming up that will promote that or help that. We do, we're really excited. Um, this year, it's gonna be uh, Saturday, May 11th. We're actually having uh, two events that we're combining this year. One is gonna be the WAG Walk and Roll One Mile Fun Walk, which is a fundraiser for DFW Humane Society. And the finish line is gonna end at Petpalooza, which is a joint event um, put on by DFW Humane Society and Irving Animal Services. We've got about five food trucks. We're gonna have some uh, music playing, um, lots of pet friendly vendors, some pet games. Um, Spain Neuter Network will be there to provide some low cost vaccinations on site. And so it's gonna be a great time. We're gonna, the walk will be at TW Richardson Grove Park. Um, and it'll end at Sam Houston Trail Park, which is where Pet Palooza is going to be held. All the vendors will be out there and set up. So we're really excited this year. We think it's gonna be a great event and a great way to meet some businesses locally that are really fond of pets and love the pet lover. Honestly, it's one of my favorite events. So please be sure to look out for that event. Back to you, Thomas. All right, thanks a lot, guys. The Animal Care Campus is located at 4140 Valley View Lane. It is open Tuesday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. Then on Saturday, the hours are 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Also, check out the websites you see on your screen for more adoptable animals.